Hello, this is my face. Thanksgiving today, October 11th, and with the COVID restrictions, can't really see a lot of family, so the plan for today is it being a rest day for me. I have cardio right now, and then later this evening, gonna train a little bit of abs, middle of the day today, I'll take you guys through that. I just wanted to start off with a little story. So last night, I got a DM from a gentleman named Fashion Santa. His real name is Paul, but he's the uh, front runner as far as Santas go in Toronto here. He's got 40,000 followers on Instagram. He's like very slender, very lean, a model. It does a lot of advertising for various companies. The most recent one I saw was he did a he did a video shoot for uh, Hyundai, I believe. But anyway, so I met him at uh, Good Life Liberty Village when I was a personal trainer there, and he had asked me to be his trainer at that point, which was last year. He said he'd never had a trainer before, but he liked my personality, and so we were gonna work together. So I was excited about that, but it never it never um, came to fruition. There was a lot of kind of you know loose ends that we weren't able to clear up, and so it was just like kind of dragging on, and we never actually followed through with it. But a year later, he DMs me once in a while, but he DMed me uh, last night and said, hey, I wanna get training, I wanna get started ASAP, I have a huge project coming up, and I want you to help me with it, and I wanna bring you along for the ride with me. And I was like, <clears throat> it was kinda of out of the loop, so I was like, oh, that's awesome, it's fantastic, I'm glad you got a new job. Uh, what is it, like what's going on? And so he's working with this company, uh, they sell rowers, right, like recumbent rowers, and so it's essentially like the Peloton of the rowing industry, like it's a really high-end, high-quality rower, you can have it in your unit. So he's getting one, but here's the trade-off. So he's getting a rower and he wants me to train him. We're gonna build up his endurance. We're gonna build his cardiovascular ability to push himself deeper and deeper into a rowing workout. But now the thing is, this company is based in LA and you know who else they're affiliated with? Kevin Hart. So it being October now, they're in talks to have a race between Fashion Santa and Kevin Hart as like a Christmas advertisement because he's like Santa Claus versus this big popular comedian. I love Kevin Hart, he's awesome, he's hilarious. So he wants me to train him for that race, and then he wants me to come with him to LA when he actually races Kevin Hart to kind of be there in his corner as his head trainer. And so I'm I'm blown away. I think that's fantastic. I'm so overly into it, but so excited, so excited. It's it's bare bones now, nothing set in stone, but the way it's looking, it, it's he's making it seem like it's gonna happen. So we're gonna start training this week, um, hopefully starting tomorrow or Tuesday when he's back. He's out of town right now, but we're gonna get him primed and ready to beat Kevin Hart. Can you imagine that? He's 56, racing against Kevin Hart, the multi-million dollar, 100 million followers on Instagram, like that's huge. That'd be fantastic for him and for me as far as exposure goes. So we're gonna do everything in our power to get him primed for the race. So, ah, so exciting, so exciting. But anyway, I'm gonna hop on the treadmill now and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. All right, it's really bright, but where are we going, Nami? Right on. Let's see your fam. Eat some turkey. Roast. Drink water. Eat some beef. Eat vegetables. Eat some ham. Eat more vegetables. Anyway, <laughs> sort of cut you off. Let's go. Champ. All right, so we got back from Thanksgiving dinner. It was good. <laughs> Couldn't eat the majority of the food there, but that's okay. Come here. All right, so I got back from Thanksgiving dinner. It was nice. I was able to have a little bit of the turkey and vegetables, and that's about it. But you know, that's what you gotta do when you're on prep. So, got back here, got a nice sunset background, gonna train a little bit of abs. So I'll take you guys through one set of what I do almost every day, at least five times a week, but it works out to about 20 minutes, but one set is as follows. So the first thing we're gonna do, really slow, really controlled sit-ups. So I want you to try to vacuum, pull your rib cage up as far as you can. You're gonna slowly sit up, I'm gonna hold it up top for a moment, and then back down. So I really try to engage my core as hard as I can. So I'll go through a few reps here. So we have oblique crunches, so you always have one hand flat. So you're focusing on the obliques here. You're gonna bring your arm away from your hips as far as you can, try to get it away, and then you're gonna crunch up. Hold for a second, and we're back down.
I would do the same thing on the other side, but just for the sake of time, go into the next thing, which is lying leg raises, so legs flat. Sometimes I clasp my feet together, but keep them straight. Or just run up and down. And underneath my tailbone to support my lower back makes it a little bit easier there, but it does feel a lot nicer. Next one, you have brush and twists. So you're gonna come up halfway, clasp your hands, and you're gonna tap them on either side for 10. So. And the final one, we have sit-ups and leg raises at the same time. So I stretch all the way back, and then I'm up with both my torso and my knees. that five times it's around 250 reps ish in total uh, just for the sake of time I'm not going to film all of them because I would imagine that would get boring but you should try it out it's really good I have to do it in the morning have a nice sunset now so I thought I'd do it here but anyway I'm going to hop in the treadmill have another meal and I'll check in with you